I have already loosened this up from uh, the last video where you had all the excess over here. I went ahead and took an angle grinder, marked it, uh, drilled holes, put nuts and bolts in it to hold everything in place because what you can't see in here right now is I have placed, I've already took this and loosened this up and removed a few, but I've got, uh, this is nothing more than like roof flashing, like ch you put around chimneys. Um, it's just a like a flashing that I roll straight off, I cut it, and I place it using silicone caulk into an existing uh, one part silicone mold, which I'm getting ready to show you. And uh, I've already ground all this down. I've still got some more cleanup to do on it, but I will let me go ahead and take this off and um, show you where I'm at with this right now. So what I've got That flashing was put in here after this mold had already set up because I did not want extra seamage to clean up any kind of seam work and I wanted it as little as possible. So once this had already been made, I ran beads of clear silicone caulk through here and you can see this. I'll pull it around and let you see it. But here's the two halves of this right here. I got to pull this flashing out and then clean up all the excess around here and then I will come and you can see what I'm talking about right here. I ran a, a, just a single bead right where I wanted to separate the fiberglass and I ran a single bead all the way around. Took this flashing and I stuck it in here after I scored it, cut it so it was close to the profile and I placed them in and I use uh, aluminum tape uh, to adhere the pieces. But before I stick the leading edge into this, I put a little bit of uh, naphtha and alcohol, or excuse me, naphtha and Vaseline mixture on both sides of this and stick it in so it will not adhere to this on the D-mold. All I want to do on this is I'm going to come up under here and I'm going to cut this up to the bottom of the jawline and then I can extract the piece once it's cast into it. Uh, but first the thing I got to do is I got to clean these these halves up. Uh, I've been grinding on them and I put a little bit of uh, a colored filler over the top of the white that you've seen from the last video just to give it a little bit more strength. And I'll clean up all this loose stuff around here and get get this mold into it. And this piece will be ready to cast off of this existing uh, sculpture right here.